What's up, boys and girls? Sector 4077 here, and we're playing Never Dead. This is part 7. We left off while we were still in the police station. Nikki Summerfield had to make a break for it, but at least she has her cell phone that we gave her. Or at least Arcadia gave her. There's another uh, machine gun spoon that, uh, wow, he got taken care of easily. Um, so we're giving chase. we got to go and try to find her, and that's what we're going to be doing. So we get done doing that, and we got to come down here, which uh, looks like the subway runs through here. Or at least, uh, well, this is parking, no, I'm sorry, this is parking garage, <laughs> subway, not yet. Oh yeah, here we go. Alrighty, so, um, this, I guess you could call this a boss fight. I didn't label it as a boss fight, but I guess this is a boss fight, but that is what is called a panda. And, um... He's actually pretty easy. He's not that bad. He's, you just have to... Well, you just have to try not to get hit by him. You know, because then he'll... Uh, he'll shred you. He'll shred you. So I take a second. I'm like, oh, let me think here. Let me think here. All right. Screw that. Get my guns out. Yeah, I know. I see the grandbaby running around. There's uh, collectibles here. You want to grab those. Um, whenever you can. I try... Oh, I got out of the way that time. Watch it now. Oh, God. I got trapped. Yep. Oh, nuts. Son of a bitch. That's all right. That's all right. I got my torso. Oh, never mind. <laughs> hey, at least I bounced back towards my body. I still don't have anything. You get me back, my... You stay away from my limbs, you son of a bitch. Oh, that helped. He actually helped us. Yeah, anyways, I got regenerated again. Oh, God. And that was an accident. Wow, I really got smacked up in the air that time. I was really high up, but there was a vial right there, so that was perfect. All right, enough of this sloppiness. Um, let's, come on. So, basically, you got to shoot him in the head until you uh, get rid of all those... Uh, well, it looks like orange bursts, if you want to say. Once you do that, you want to go up to them and uh, start shooting them. Just like you did with with um, that uh, the sword pig. Where you had to shoot him in the ass while you're shooting this guy in the head. So, just blast away as much as you can. Oh, and he's regenerating. That bastard. I was pissed. I was like, God damn it, really? Seriously? I'm like, well, that was a waste. At least it seemed like it. So, start shooting him again. And uh, we'll just watch out for his charge attack. I mean, really, there's a lot of open space here, so you shouldn't have too much trouble. I mean, yeah, I've gotten hit before because I waited till the last second to get out of the way. You know, because I want to hit him as many times as I can. <laughs> that was like another close call. I'm like, oh, okay. Come on, buddy. Turn around so I can shoot the rest of that. All right. Now, this time, I was like, maybe I'm not supposed to be shooting. Maybe I'm supposed to be swording him. You know, hitting him with my blade. Uh, and oh, I should have. I was great getting ready to start. Uh, I was getting ready to switch my guns, but no, nope, didn't. So if you didn't get the collectibles up there, well, then you're shit out of luck because now you're in the you are in the subway tunnel or in the uh, main plaza of the subway. So here's what you want to do. Okay. Um. You want to go around to the other side where that, see the, the subway going by? You want to lead this panda onto the tracks and have him get hit by one of those subway cars. First time I did this, oh my god, it was such a pain in the ass. I just kept, like, I kept screwing up. I kept getting demolished and everything else or whatever. Decapitated and everything. Oh, just missed them. So, yeah, just kind of keep shooting at him until he comes over here and then get out of the way. Now I got lucky, um, because I was standing here, I'm like, all right, hey, hey, buddy, come on, get, come on and get me. Oh, I jumped out of the way. I'm like, yes. Well, he pounded, and he shouldn't have did that. Because, uh, bye-bye. So that was really easy compared to the last time. Last time, it took me, like, at least five, six minutes to do it. 
I went, what the hell? What, the, what was that? I got shot or something like that in the back. But we got the trophy, mind the gap, for leading the panda into the um, into the onto the tracks and having to get hit by a subway car. Okay, so I picked up a whole bunch of collectibles and then I went ahead and activated this switch, this button. Now, what we were trying to do is, as you've seen, you know, he shoved that subway car. Um, she's kind of trapped in a room or something. And he shoves the subway car in front of the door. So, what we got to do is we got to move that subway car. And how do we do that? Well, we flip a switch, like always. Which is right in here. Sweet. That was easy. There. All right, so now we move the train. Now we got another enemy, a new enemy. These flying stupid ass pieces of shit. I hate these guys. I mean, they're not that bad. I mean, you know, they go down pretty easily, especially with the submachine gun, but, or the assault rifle, or whatever. But when they start shooting that laser, watch out, because that will slice your limbs off. Oh, yeah, it'll slice and dice. And we don't want that, so. You know, just kind of try to keep shooting at them so they don't get a chance to shoot that uh, that laser at you. I said they don't have too much health. That shotgun doesn't do really shit. And that's about it. Oh, got him. Okay, but we got more enemies. Um, we've got a couple of wombs down there, and we got a couple of uh, machine gun spoons. So. What I do is I take out the wombs first, uh, at least as much as I can, and after I get shot a couple times, I'm like, God damn it, alright, you know what, I'm just time to take care of these spoons. Bye bye, limbs. <laughs> yeah, that, damn it, but that's alright, we'll go ahead and regenerate, pretty sure. Yeah, wow, I'm surprised. Is able to get by. Go get that arm. Don't be pissing around. All right. So we got two of them. Somehow I take them out. Take both of them out. That was sweet because those can be annoying. All right. There was a few more we had to shoot and take down. So now we're still chasing her, obviously. So she went through here. There's some collectibles. Oh, and don't forget that Spoon, he's going to come back. He's not just going to uh, leave because that's just a dead end. <laughs> so. Picked up some uh, yeah, handgun ammo, though, even though the handgun sucks. Of course, it'll be nice when I get the shock bullets or whatever. Electro bullets or whatever they're called. Whatever they're called. I don't know if they're electro bullets because that's Bioshock terminology, so... <laughs> Uh, I don't want any copyright infringement. I don't want to get sued. But you got to be careful. Don't go too fast because there was there was a grandbaby waiting for you. And yes, hurry up and regenerate because he would have probably sucked you up. What you want to do in here, as you can see, those blue pipes and everything like that. You want to uh, want to shoot at them. You want to fill the whole room with gas and then, well, basically um, explode the room, which shouldn't be a problem. So, get your gun zap. Um, I should have, I could have just aimed, but when you're aiming, when you're in aiming mode, you can't run as fast. And these sons of bitches, because there's a whole bunch of enemies in here. Obviously, a few wombs. There's a, there's um, inflator. There's a whole bunch of crap in here. So, be careful. Yeah, man, just go ahead and there we go. Nice. You son of a bitch. Okay, oh, there we go. Cool, well, that's all right. Yeah, so I only have one. Okay, so right about here. Oh, I almost, almost had it. Oh no, you get away from me. Okay. Cool, there we go. Now I got both hands. That's the ticket. Well, that took care of everybody. <laughs> we'll go ahead and regenerate ourselves. Grab all, all our stuff, all our limbs, and we're all set. Cool. Right. Open it. What's the magic word? Just open it. Please, right? 
All right, we're going to go ahead and open this for her because we're a nice guy. And, oh, God, we got a new enemy. This is a missile spoon. Yeah. Uh, I just stood here. <laughs> I'm surprised it didn't take off any of my limbs, but it didn't, so. Basically, what I did was is I kind of shot at him and stuff. There's enemies, other enemies that come out after you. Um, such as that spoon right there and stuff. And so just be careful. And uh, but there's no wombs or anything like that, so you don't have to worry about that. But uh, what I noticed that there are there are explosive barrels here down the way. So when they come out, if you start using mach uh, your machine guns and everything like that. You should be able to hit those explosive barrels with no problem. Alright, so in order to get this... Yeah, throw your head in there. Get your head in there. Oh yeah. Sweet. And then we got more enemies, so go ahead and regenerate. So hopefully you have enough energy to do that. I could have just jumped off and grabbed it, but eh. Oh, you sons of bitches. They got my limbs again. I'm always losing them damn things. And uh, I forgot you can't uh, shoot those damn things. Alrighty. Now eventually I take that I take that missile uh, spoon down just by hitting them. Not like that though. But we are coming to the end of this video, and we will be back in the next video, which will be Never Dead Part Eight. And, um, well, we're going to start out to where I get hit, like, 15 times by passing subway trains. Yeah, a little bit annoying, but, um, I got through it. I just got through it pissed off. <laughs> but, we will be back in the next video, which will be part 8. And we're going to continue our quest to get Nikki Summerfield. So, until then, this is Sight 4077 saying take care, cheer, so long, rate, comment, subscribe, suggest... But most importantly, thank you so much for watching, and uh, see you in the next vids. Bye-bye.